Hello everyone, Dister Bell is back and this week I was just, I made this video after, you know, two weeks of being sick, I was coughing during the video and it was talking about the, I, what was it talking about? It was talking about the Joker 2 rumors and the rumors that Lady Gaga might be cast as Harley Quinn and that all of that kind of concerned me and just as I was uploading that video, right when I pressed the button to upload it, a video came out by Grace Randolph confirming that Lady Gaga is not only going to be Harley Quinn in the Joker sequel, but that there's another Harley Quinn being cast, probably for the Reevesverse, probably for the Arkham Asylum show that's coming out on HBO Max. And that video did not go into the actresses that were rumored for that role, but I know that if you go on DC uh, Leaks Reddit, you'll find that Anya Taylor-Joy and Victoria Pedretti are maybe rumored to be playing the character in that show. And then later that day, it was officially confirmed on Hollywood Reporter that Joker 2 is not only going to have Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn, because it said that she's in talks for it, and in talks basically means that this actor is signed on to do this, it's just her agent, and you know, her team has to work out the actual contract for it. So, you know, it's, it's a locked in deal at this point, but that Joker 2 is also going to be a musical. And uh, so, so let's, get into that. I, I think that the, the the news has come out. I think it's we've gotten as much as we're going to get for now, so I'm not going to be surprised by anything. And I've had time to have my thoughts kind of gather about this, because boy, did I have a lot of thoughts for it. So first of all, my last video still stands that I really did not need a Joker sequel. I think that the movie is going in the most logical way that you could if you were going to make a sequel where you have to do Harley's story now. When I heard that Lady Gaga was going to be cast as Harley, and don't get me wrong, she would not be my first choice. I think that a lot of people had a negative reaction because they associate her with her image in the music industry, but she actually can act. She's an Oscar-nominated actress, and so she would not be necessarily my first choice for Harley, but I, I, this is my overall thoughts on it. I have been so beaten down by all the bad content that the character has gotten and all the disappointments and everything and just, you know, holding on to directions that don't work in the comics, like making her a hero, holding on to the Margot Robbie version just for so long. I'm so beaten down by all of it that e even as ridiculous and as horrible as a musical sounds, I'm like... Whatever, I'll take it. I'll take who they get. I'll take Anya Taylor-Joy. I'll take Victoria Pedretti if that's the person they end up getting for the Arkham Asylum show. I'll take Lady Gaga. I know she has a lot of acting skills. She can play high caliber roles. So I'm like, well, I'll take it. I'll, do, I'll take it. I'll, let's see what this, this stuff turns out to be. It doesn't necessarily mean that the Joker sequel is going to work out. I think what happened and what somebody uh, mentioned online is that uh, Todd Phillips probably eventually said, I'll make a sequel only if you let me do whatever I want, and that that's what this movie is. Which it could turn out, I don't know, unexpectedly brilliant, or it just could be so out there and so not what mainstream audiences want that no one sees it. Either thing could happen. Uh, people have noted that this is probably um, Todd Phillips committing to the Martin Scorsese bit, which I think is really annoying. I don't think that you need to copy Martin Scorsese to make a good film, and it seems like a really silly gimmick that he's using, but um, apparently the, you, you could infer that this is based off of Martin Scorsese's film New York, New York, which is a musical that he made right after Taxi Driver, which is about a tragic, toxic relationship between two singers. And that's why that movie was a musical. It was two singers. And I'm like, okay, but that made sense because your two protagonists were singers, so it makes sense that there'd be singing in the movie. But, I mean, I don't really see that as Joker and Harley as the characters. But to be fair, in the cartoons and whatnot, there actually have been a lot of singing from these characters. That our romance had ended Until you poisoned my food Which I shall pass along to you That's always guaranteed to make me smile Remember in Arkham City I killed your girl So pretty <laughs> This may be grand, but it won't pay the rental on your humble flat or help you at the autumn. So, I don't know, some people have suggested maybe there'll be like delusions in their heads. I'm sure when we get closer to the film, I'll be more wary about it, the whole thing. I'm just kind of relieved to get a different actress playing Harley and to get that different take out there, that the, the potential for a different take. And to it's a big deal to me to be able to 
that we're, we're, we're allowing media, whatever the story is, we're allowing media with Harley and Joker again after so long of just doing everything we can to sort of ban that relationship, even when it's so essential to Harley's character. By the way, I know I was talking about the Grace Randolph video um, at the beginning, and I want to say she said, so, I, I go back to her channel because, like it or not, she does have insider information and she does seem to know what she's talking about when it comes to the box office, but she has some very weird contradictive takes, and to say the least. And in, in her video, I was taken aback because she makes a big deal about how um, the Birds of Prey and the Suicide Squad movies didn't sell, and she mentions that the Harley Quinn show uh, has, despite her loving it so much, has not been very widely watched. But then by the end of her video, she says that uh, she thinks that everyone's going to have a big problem going back to Harley and Joker because DC spent so much time trying to get those two apart, and she thinks everyone would love Harley and Ivy. Now, how can you say that and that everybody wants something that they haven't been buying into because I guarantee what WB is doing on some level is they're saying, oh, Harley didn't sell in these movies when we made her branch out on, the, on her own, but Joker sold really well. Let's go back to doing stuff with her and the Joker. Like it or not, this is probably what they're thinking. And then we'll, we'll see if that brings the box office back in. That would make sense of why it's been as so many years of trying desperately to get Harley away from Joker and then immediately going back in not one project, but two projects. It just makes sense. I just bumped my camera. Anyway, it just makes sense. And they're bringing her back into the realm of Batman as well as a supporting character. And uh, so I'm thrilled for that. I almost feel like we've gotten over the, over the, the hump for this horrible thing that has happened to the character where she's kind of just been destroyed and made unrecognizable and that maybe I know that the Joker 2 is going to be um its own kind of artsy film and that it might not be like the comics it might not be the adaption of the, it's a musical so ho hopefully not I might not be getting the Harleen adaption I've wanted for so long but at least I mean this stuff you know, doing stuff where it looks like we might be getting Harley back in Arkham and in an Arkham Asylum show back with the Joker. It's stuff that I recognize from the character. And so that's what makes me so excited. And I'm so excited to get two new actresses, not one, but two, who I'm able to see a different version of the character from for once. So, so, um, uh, and th that's, once again, that's why you're doing a hard 180 turn. When Grace Randolph says, um, everybody wants this, it usually just means she wants this. So I'm like, well, that's, it's, it's a direction that didn't work out, and that's why you do such a hard 180 back to the original stuff. And that'll be interesting, and I'm wondering if that's finally going to affect the comics in how Harley's portrayed, because they're usually very interest, very very influenced by the movies. And um, as for Margot Robbie, I'm hearing some people say, well, well, she's not gone, you know, she's still in the DCEU. I highly doubt that Margot is going to come back for a Harley movie. Um, maybe, 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 just because she, James Gunn, really likes working with her, maybe she'll come back for one of his shows, like the Amanda Waller thing he's doing, and there's other rumors that he might bring back other characters from the 2016 Suicide Squad movie. Maybe that will happen. I still don't think it will. I think that this is a sign where, for years, WB was holding on to Margot Robbie's version because they thought they had gold with that character and that casting specifically from the first Suicide Squad movie, but then they got two movies where the box office flopped and they saw that it wasn't going to work, and so now I think that they're just done with holding on to that version of the character and that direction that Margot uh, Robbie wanted, and so now that I think that that's why they're like, okay, we don't need to hold on to that pairing so much anymore. We can allow another actress to portray her in another universe if we want. We can try other things with the character to see if they'll sell. And by the way, I got someone writing to me that said, well, I think Margot is perfectly cast as the character. I actually agree. I think that at the time she was perfect casting. And I think that Margot Robbie always had the potential to play one of the best versions, if not the best version of the character ever. But just because she has that ability doesn't mean that she understood the character. And I think that it was pretty much doomed the day that David Ayer is the one who kind of introduced her to it all. And he didn't understand it. And he gave her, uh, I, in my opinion, he gave her a lot of ideas that I think um, she took and down the line 
it just kind of ruined her run as the character. If she didn't do the Birds of Prey movie, I think that Margot Robbie would still be making some kind of a profit as the character and might still be cast as her, but I think the Birds of Prey movies would kill everything. But uh, those are my thoughts on uh, the new news about who's going to be playing Harley next. I really hope we get more information soon. I'm not sure if the Joker 2 movie is really going to be my thing. I'm just glad that we seem to be turning a corner on all of this stuff. Um, what do you think of all of this that I've just talked about? And um, do you agree with Grace Randolph's points that people are going to have a big problem with going back to Harley and Joker stuff? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching my latest short film. I'm once again using those to practice and I'm wanting to do more comedy short films down the line. Uh, remember, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. I will see you guys next time.